Many a times we pray to God to forgive our sins. But what happens when you don't have faith that our sins have been forgiven? Pastor Oxu Park's book, Repentance and Faith, enlightens us more on how to go about it, referring to specific situations in the Bible. To get a copy of this book, please visit Achania Bookshop along Moy Avenue at only 580 shillings. After years of searching, a native tribe from Africa discovers a new way to quench their thirst. Don't worry, son. Mom and I will take care of them. Give your family a Vita 500 thirst quenching sensation and reach them with vitamin C. Vita 500, cool taste, healthy living. Available in all supermarkets countrywide. Hello and a very warm welcome to Zoom in Africa. Thank you so much for staying tuned to GBS. And it's only prudent for us to start with Hongera Rupita Nyongo for what uh, you're doing Kenya proud, actually. Yeah, I'm sure all Kenyans are really mm. proud of uh, the Oscar. It was the mother of them all and she bagged it. We are so happy. And for sure, Monday it is. And it's our humble pleasure to welcome you as we all begin the week on a business note. Stay with us for the next 50 minutes and learn about being a chief executive officer. I'm Henry Miner. And my name is Florence Ndongo and welcome on board. March has actually begun on the right footing and we want to keep the pace if mm -hmm. not accelerate it. Today we are privileged to be joined by a cargo company who will be telling us more of what it takes to be in the cargo business in the country. In Kenya, shipments larger than about 7,000 kgs are typically classified as truck road freight. This is because it is more efficient and economical for a large shipment to have exclusive use of one large trailer rather than share space on a smaller one. And by the Federal Bridge Gross weight formula, the total weight of a loaded truck cannot exceed that 6,000 kgs in the country. Yeah, for those who understand mathematics, mm -hmm. today we will be talking about special transportation. In this category, special goods are fragile and perishable goods. Such goods include horticulture, goods, vegetable, and even uh, pharma. Citicals, you know all about the mm -hmm. medicine. Yes. This is exactly what Sinki Kenya Limited has actually decided to take care of in the transport sector. Founded back in 2009 by Victor Ngatia, the company targets small-scale farmers in the horticulture industry by offering transport solutions. And now it started with only two clients and hiring trucks. Now it is a one million shillings. Uh, okay, rather than the one million uh, starting capital farm has over 30 clients and boasts of over 40 million annual turnover and has never disappointed its clients. Today we meet Victor Ngatia, the CEO of Sinki Kenya Limited, a contraction of his wife's and daughter's name that is Cynthia and Keisha. Wow, I know mm. um, when it comes to business, you guys you can't <laughs> miss yeah. being here on a Monday. We actually talk to CEOs and actually our CEOs to talk to CEOs one of the end. Mm -hmm. Today is not different and I have a feeling today's show is, is going to be amazing. Mr. Ngatia, thank you so much for joining us on set today. Thank you very much. Yes. Briefly introduce your company. Oh, Sinki Limited. I think that's where we are and I'm glad to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, let me say I'm also very proud that Lupita did us proud today. Sure. Okay. Sinki Limited uh, formed, as you said, in the year two. 2009, although having started business a bit earlier, mm -hmm. that is back in 2006, 2007 there. Uh, we have a niche in the sense that we do specialized transportation. Mm -hmm. We don't just move goods. By that I mean we have uh, temperature controlled transportation, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, packaging in transportation, uh, and more than more to it, we have solution in transport mm -hmm. not transport because many are people who come up with a problem and you're only given a truck to move mm -hmm. but for us we look at how we make it better, better. Mm -hmm. uh, timely and safely mm -hmm. You know, actually, one would want to know and talk about transportation. You're actually offering solutions. Does this mean it's only via road, or what happens? Mm, in actual, when I say solution at its best, because that's what we talk of at Sinki, solution yeah. at its best. Mm -hmm. oh, you come up with a problem. You want to move, for example, let's say you want to move jet fuel, or you want to move fuel that is highly inflammable, and you want to move it from point A to point B. 
Point A could be easy because it's normally from a particular factory or a particular industry that they do the packaging. But where you're taking it for consumption, that should be maybe deep in Masai Mara mm -hmm. or it could be somewhere far like Lamu. Yes. And before you get to such areas, there is a lot that you go through. Number one will be a simple tarmac road. Number two will be an off-road. Mm -hmm. Number three will be maybe water. I mean, if you have to move all these things and you are a client, it's not your problem. I think it is our problem to give the solution mm -hmm. that we deliver to whatever mm -hmm. you want the cargo delivered for consumption. And looking at what you've just said, uh, having started business in 2006, but you had to wait until 2009, maybe give us the, what was the three years all about? Uh, I, I think we all in this uh, nasty business environment mm. and uh, ideas come up when you're young, when you're employed, when you're in school. And for, to be precise, from the, two from the year 2004 to 2008, I was employed. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that particular setup, I was uh, in charge of a particular department. And as I offered solutions through employment, there are very, very, very many people who got to learn or got the, get, got the wind of what I do in this very big company. Mm -hmm. And they opted to get my solutions as well to sort them out. And in this, you know, when, when you have a company that would have particular clientele that they want to stick to, so they can make sure that the clients are satisfied, the quality of uh, service is tip top. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the name is everything. Mm -hmm. These other small people who come in may not really fit in that setup, but they keep pushing you as a solution provider mm -hmm. to sort that, to sell them out. So mm -hmm. that is how Sync came up. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I'm, I'm giving mm -hmm. a solution uh, and they really want it. Mm -hmm. So in my absence, Sinki okay. was born. Okay. All right. And then finally in 2008, of course, I had to resign because if you need to go to, to, to bring up this small baby, mm -hmm. then it needs your time and your input 100%. Mm -hmm. You sound like someone who actually saw an opportunity and actually yeah, went for it and actually did something mm. good about it where you're working in a bigger company and then that company uh, is, is not taking care of the smaller, smaller companies and you stepped up and you actually provided uh, what the young guys down there were doing. Uh, what would you tell young people? Because I know uh, our today, today's segment is all about actually um, like motivating mm -hmm. people. People want to, people always sit back and say, you know, someday in future, I'm going to be a CEO and I'll have my own company. But really, most of them, I don't think they actually even take uh, the initiative to see an opportunity and take it. And as we were talking on earlier, you talked something about uh, seeing things positively and negatively, what would you advise such people? On that note, uh, there was, a, uh, there was a, a saying that went like, you either see the glass half full or half empty, but you're seeing mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But since yours is negative, you're seeing it half empty, mm -hmm. and I see it half full, then mine is an opportunity. Yours is an impediment. Because you would wish it to be full, mm -hmm. but since it's half, and it's empty towards, it's, 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 it's half empty, then you don't change that into anything productive mm -hmm. or to any business that you may think. Many people look at starting a business, you need capital. And many people will tell you, I don't have capital, so yeah. I can't start the business. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I think the only way to think through that is what do you need to do to get the capital? Mm -hmm. I mean, many, I'm, I've, I'm sure you've heard of many people who started their business with, 10,000 shillings, 1,000 shillings, or 500 shillings. 500 shillings. Yeah. But they did not look at that as half empty mm. of a glass. They looked at it as a positive move. Mm. Yeah. If I made it two, tomorrow I'll have 1,000. Mm. The following day I'll have 1,500. And as, as you go on and on, then your capital grows. Mm -hmm. And since you're in need 100%, and that's why the aspect of resigning comes in for anybody who's employed, then you must bring in your hundred percent in these five hundred shillings <laughs> to grow it. Sure. Because if you only have ten percent mm -hmm. of your time to grow the one thousand, it will take you forever to make it anything. 